Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you for joining me today. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. Always appreciate that. I try to respond. We're going to play with fabric today. I use a rice bag to hold down my mixed media and my pages and things like that. So yes, anybody can have a rice bag, but uh, I created an angel rice bag. This was inspired by Judith. Judith, thank you so much for sending me home with that pattern. I did use my Franken patches because I love those and some uh, denim on the back with a little heart. So, and she weighs a little bit over three pounds, um, thereabouts, so she's good enough to weigh down a page. All right, enough from me. See you on the table. So here is your project for today. Anybody can have a rice bag, but look at this rice bag. So the rice bag that I had was just a Ziploc, and it had about five pounds of rice in it. I will cut some of these strings off, perhaps, maybe. <laughs> you know I like it as crunchy as possible. So um, she weighs about three pounds, and I'm okay with that. That's still enough to hold a page down. Um, this was inspired by Judith. Thank you, Judith, for your inspiration around this. Franken patches, uh, fabric for, and I did all the sewing on the outside. None of it is turned on the inside. This is a face uh, that I printed out on my laser printer, put it on her face, a little crown made out of all the um, Franken patches, and a little heart on her bum. So she is all ready to weigh down my pages. Here's the pattern that I have. Uh, I have it on some of my Franken patches. Um, it's well, it's five inches across, eleven inches across, and eight inches up and down. If you're working with a thinner material, you can fold it and cut it. But the Franken patches tend to be kind of heavy, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut out the whole thing like this. And I'm going to cut a heart out here because I'll put that on the back of the rice bag. I have a piece of denim from a pair of old jeans. And I'll lay that face down and then cut out the back. Now this is the pattern that I have for the head. You can use any shape you want. This is the one that Judith gave me, so I'm going to use that. Let me get it cut out and then I can measure it for you and tell you what the dimensions are. Alright, so it's six inches across here, an inch and a half tall here, five inches across here, two inches here, and four inches there. I'm going to go stain this with some coffee. I cut out four pieces for arms. I dunked the fabric in a cup of coffee, crumpled it all up, stuck it in the microwave. Now I'm ironing it and it'll still have some texture on it, which is really, really fun. Thank you, Judith. This is the scrap left from cutting out her body. Use everything. I'm going to go coffee dip these. Okay, to do a little recap, I have the front and the back. I have four pieces of wings. 
I have a front and a back for her head and I have four pieces for the arms. I'm going to work on her head first. I have this very fun girl. I'm actually going to rip her face rip her face out. So I want a ragged edge to match the rest of the angel. I'm going to put Mod Podge on the back of that. Lay that down on her face. And some hubby's working in his studio too. And Mod Podge on the top of that, and we will need to let that dry. I'm going to take these pieces to my sewing machine, and I am just going to use the thread that is in my sewing machine. I have no idea what color it is, but I'm going to sew these together. And I'll sew the arms together too. I have the wings sewn and her arms sewn. I'm going to take her head and shoulders in and sew them. So I have her sewn. I left a hole at the bottom and I am going to start stuffing her. So I'll just take some batting and shove it in that hole and continue to shove it in there until she's as full as I want her. Oh it's really raining out. Alright I have her all stuffed. I'm just going to come in and do a whip stitch to seal her up. I missed some of the fabric here on the first round so I just went back and made a, a ragged repair on that. Alright, I'm putting a little bit of rice in here and creating her hand. I just put a little bit of rice in here. Then I'm going to sew this, creating her hand. Do that to the other one as well. I'm going to sew her arms to the top. Here's her cute little hands filled with rice. Yay! So I'm going to sew her arms to the top. On the exterior, keep that grungy look going. I'm going to sew the wings on. Trim off the excess here on her little arms. So next, I need to sew this closed, the front and the back closed, leaving enough room to poke her head through. So I'm going to sew along here and along here and leave room for her head. Let's see how we did. I'm cutting her neckline down a little bit. A little bit by little bit. Don't want it to be too big. There we go. Perfect! Okay, I'm going to take it to my machine and I'm going to sew around the edges and I will leave an opening at the bottom to put the rice in. Isn't this exciting? This is so exciting. First, before I sew her together, I'm going to put a little heart on the back side. Alright, we are running out of light. She's filled with rice. She weighs a little bit over three pounds. I am okay with that. So if you want a five pound, then you are going to have to make measurements bigger than what I did. All right, I'm going to hot glue gun her arms down. hands up. I'm 
And I have a rose I'm going to put in her hands. crown for her head. Well, here she is in all of her glory. I did grunge her up a little bit with some vintage photo uh, distress ink. This is what I used to get the rice in. I just cut a small bottle, stuck this part in the open area in here, and filled her with the rice. She weighs a little bit over three pounds, uh, and I am okay with that. I love her. All right, your turn. Go create. Go play. Go have fun.